or at least it's steering the right direction. Yeah, that probably was it. I had the linkage around the wrong way. Should be going down the lake pretty soon. It's probably reached his first waypoint. Yep, looks as though he has. All right, the lone tree is down there, so you shouldn't have to go too far past that to reach this waypoint and then they'll try and come back. But coming back will be against the wind, so it'll be a good bit slower. All right, see if he does a turn now. the time oh, less than five minutes to the second waypoint and it looks as though he did reach it and did turn and now it may be a long wait for him to make his way back so he's coming generally against the wind yeah this could be a long wait so uh, better take refreshments that sail flapping about looks to me as though something may have come loose so it's hardly surprising it wouldn't make headway upwind if one of the sails has come loose so we may have to ask Bray Lake for a rescue Where is it? uh, it's in the middle there out towards the lone tree that, that little raft Yeah, jib had come loose. That explained why it couldn't tack. And uh, looks like we've also lost the logger. Let's wait, I'll see if it's floated in. Well, back in the car, time to tidy up. Maybe have a walk round looking for the logger. This last Sunday, when we picked it up from Eric, was a standard international one metre boat, only one metre long. It's got pretty well standard, but rather tatty, international one metre number three storm sails, which is we've been using on all of our boats. And all we've done is hidden by duct tape, uh, added an autopilot where the radio control receiver goes, reversed the rudder linkage which the autopilot drives so that it steers in the correct direction and there's a spot trace tracker tucked under here, reporting position every five minutes. There's a 
a solar panel here which is just about enough to keep the thing running at least on sunny days and basically it means I can be lazy and not bother to charge the battery and of course the most important fella is Snoopy the Viking wind is a nice gentle breeze roughly north east direction let's see how well Snoopy does sat in Eric's one meter boat and launching at seven minutes past nine Snoopy's only took two or three minutes to get to his first waypoint and he's well on the way to waypoint B down the down towards the end of the lake. Landmark, which is that boy. So he's on his way to waypoint D or Delta near the islands before coming back here to the base. Right, he's getting very close to it now, so we can expect a turn. Not quite sure how accurate he's going to be. No reason why he shouldn't get within at least 10 yards. That's his target, which is the middle of the drain, just here. Short walk from the clubhouse on a coffee. And at the moment he's managing to steer towards it. What's this? Oh. Looks like an air attack. <laughs> That's 15 minutes <laughs> so far. Well, that's not too bad. So probably about 16 minutes to go round the whole of Bray Lake. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Let's. Uh... Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that was. Uh... Yeah, about 16 minutes. So time to get you out, I suppose. <laughs> 